Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. There I am. Hello, hello, and welcome to Cryptic Corner, where we explore the unexplained, supernatural, paranormal, and hidden, the mysterious, the alien, a curse, and the forbidden. I'm so glad you are able to join me today for the show. Oh, we got a piece of hair or something in my on my tongue. That drives me crazy. Good morning, good morning, or good evening, good evening, I should say to my to my uh, uh, cryptic corner crew that's watching this on Friday night. Uh, love you guys. Always appreciate hanging out in the side chat with you and uh, talking about whatever the, the subject of the night is before we uh, head off to our weekend on Friday night. So thank you so much for joining me. If you want to watch this live and participate with the live chat, you can join this group right over here every Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. And we will have a new fresh topic. Uh, Cryptic Corner is always the top of the show after we do our, our intro. So, yeah, come in, come on in and join us. Uh, after Cryptic Corner, we do a segment called Creation Watch where we look at some uh, different ideas about how the universe came into existence and how it functions uh, from the, uh, the more theistic side of things usually, but not always. Um, but yeah, today it's going to be from a theistic side of things, but we'll get to that when we get to that. First and foremost, we're going to do some cryptic corner. And this is something I really haven't done before, but I wanted to cover because there's a couple of different videos that have been, <coughs> that have come across my feed and we're going to look at, uh, we're going to look at them. So here we go. And... There we go. Okay, so first we have this uh, this guy. Meanwhile, on our flight back home from hideout, I don't know what that is, what hideout is, but. Look at everyone filming, man. <laughs> What's wrong? Whoa, 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 whoa. He's saying, let me get to the pilot, let me get to the pilot. Yo, 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 You can kind of hear what, some of what he says there. Let me... Everyone needs to listen. Come on, please. It's your time. Something. Open the door. Open the door. He did say open the door. Open the door. Let me get to the pilot. Let me get to the pilot. Dang, this these uh, passengers aren't messing around. They're like, oh, let's dog pile on top of him. Yo! Oh. Get him out! What the fuck is happening right? But I am telling you. Then we got this lady. This lady is getting on my nerves because I'm trying to sort this story out and I just can't, I, I just can't suss it. I don't know. This one, uh, we're going to go, we're going to dive into. So I hope you guys are ready, ready listening to this shrill woman uh, repeat this over and over again because I got different angles and yeah. That mother that mother back there is not real. I'm telling you, I'm getting the and there's a reason why I'm getting the f off and everyone can either believe 
believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two f but I am telling you right now, that mother that mother, that mother back there is not real. Okay. And you can sit on this plane and you can die with them or not. I'm not going to. So this woman's like uh, having like a panic uh, on the plane that she saw something. She's saying that motherfucker is not real. She's pointing towards the back of the plane. It never pins down on the, this film, on this video, with who the guy is or anything. But What exactly are these people seeing? Hmm. You are now within minutes of horror and your only chances of survival is hitting that like button. With that, that goes for my channel too. You can hit the my like button. Being said, let's continue on with the video. Mm -hmm. I remembered hearing this story on the news about a man flying on a plane in Europe yeah. trying to open the plane door. But I thought it was just a nut job trying to do something crazy. But after seeing the actual video, I got chills. This is horrifying. Whatever this man saw next to him caused him to have such real raw terror. He was hyperventilating. Oh yeah, you can. This guy's definitely like I don't know what what happened to him. I don't know what he saw or what he what inter, how the interaction uh, put him in the state. But he is absolutely having a, a, a panicked moment. This woman, on the other hand, I don't know. He could barely get the words out. This is not mental sickness. This is not alcohol. This is not drugs. The way he jumped out of his seat after seeing what he saw was his brain instantly feeling fear on the same level of a... Well, let's not uh, over uh, over uh, sell it. I don't know if it was uh, fear's pain. I guess, it, I guess it was, yeah. He was panicked about something. That it was like an emergency, like he couldn't not... Jump scare. This man was so scared by what he saw, he was rushing to the pilots. Now, the original story, what was being floated around, was that he was nuts and he was trying to open the plane door. But this is absolutely false. He was trying to go to the cap- He did say open the door, did you not hear it? Captains, to tell them what he saw. People, this is absolutely frightening. He could not speak, he was terrified. All he could do was point to his own face as if he's trying to tell everybody, look, this person next to me, look at his face, something's not right. What? I don't know if he's talking about the person next to him or out the window, though. Uh, he might be having a something on the wing moment. Exactly. Are these people seeing that is scaring them so bad they went off the plane even during mid-flight? These people who are experiencing real horror are having hit jobs come out against them. The woman on the American Airlines flight was called a Karen and a racist for blaming a black man for stealing her airbuds. By a woman. The funny thing with the one, the, the plane that, not this isn't the woman from that plane, but the one that, uh, with the, the, the woman, Carrot Top apparently was on that, uh, on that plane. Whose story is filled with inconsistencies. What's even more bizarre is that we haven't even heard from this woman. She's never even given an interview. She was never detained or arrested for causing a real disturbance on the flight. How do you explain that? These two stories are only a couple days apart. What's the excuse that she was trying to copy this man? Oh yeah, this is uh, what this is definitely a uh, accounting the hits and ignoring the misses sort of thing. And that this man was nuts. There was a shift in the Earth's gravitational pull, so it caused them to see something. This is really one of those fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Now we really do have to discuss what is happening here. Now, in my last video with the American Airlines woman, I was reading and responding to some of the comments where people were saying, perhaps she was a bad actress, she was drunk. And some of those comments did sound logical. There was a credibility. See, she comes across more, she comes across, he, the dude came across as scared. She comes across as more angry to me. And I watched the channel called the Body Language Experts video on this too, and he, he thought that she also seemed more like she was mad about something than that she was scared. Like she was mad and she's not going to fly with whoever. I don't know, but we'll, we'll, we'll explore it. ...ability to some of those comments. But this man here, that is real horror. What he saw was real. That's genuine. I have never seen somebody so scared in all my life. 
even the American Airlines woman, when she started to walk away and she said, look, that man is not real. As she was talking, her voice started to change. It sounded like she was about to lose her voice as well. She was that scared. These people are seeing something, but the only question is, what exactly are they seeing? Now, on my last video with the American Airlines woman, which I will link below, I did present three theories. One of those being, it's all logical, where she was drunk, she didn't see anything, it's all in her mind. She saw artificial intelligence, an AI person, or she saw a ghost. But I do want to... <laughs> an AI person. So, like, if she saw an AI person, has he seen what the AI robots look like? They don't look like people, son. Not yet. Not yet. They don't look like... Uh... Yeah, I'm 40 now. I can call every every man under 40 son now. That's what I'm going to do, so. But I don't know too many people under 40, which is good. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, the, the AI robots don't look like super. Even the ones they try to make look sort of human don't look human. Uh, it, I think this is a real woman. I think we can rule out AI robot. I, I... Present some more theories. I was reading comments about how this woman may have saw a reptilian shapeshifter. Now, I do believe a form of reptilian humanoids do exist. Now, reptilians have been on Earth for millions of years. Way long. Jesus says that matter of factly. Reptilians have been on Earth for millions of years. Just, just throws it out there like, okay, we all just accept that. That's just the truth. That's the true narrative now. And then we go about our business. Longer than creatures they say we evolved from, like apes and monkeys. Is it really outside the realm of possibility for creatures who have been here for millions of years to have evolved a greater consciousness? Now the theory about reptilian shapeshifters goes all the way back to the 1920s, but David Icke really pushed this theory. He said these reptilian- David Icke used to be very prominent in my library and he's not anymore and I kind of regret it. So I might, I may try to collect his books again. Um probably from like used books or something but just uh have them have them in my collection so i can when these channels when they refer to his work i'll have i'll have actually read what he says and been able to uh debunk it um i mean i not that i haven't read some of what he says but i read that i'm, I'm talking uh 90s and early 2000s mostly the early 2000s when i got really into um 14 topics like uh reptilians and aliens and bigfoot and all that i got really deep into it there for a while i mean i guess i'm still deep into it i'm still doing this show every week huh <laughs> humanoids are tall blood drinking beings and that all of the Fair. elite that control the world are reptilians that they also hide in underground bases now this all does sound crazy until you see a video on march 4th 2013 a video depicting a security agent with unusual features guarding a speech by the United States President Barack Obama. Even if he's not a reptilian, he definitely does not look human. He even looks like he's shape-shifting in some portions of the video. Where? Is it possible that these people are seeing the exact same thing on their flight? Like he's shape-shifting in some portions of the video. Even if Hold he's on. not a reptilian, he definitely does not this look This guy human. back here. He even looks like he's shape-shifting in some portions of the video. Is it possible that these people are seeing the exact same thing on their flight? They're seeing these non-humanoid creatures shape shape. I'm just going to say it right now. Slender Man has every right to come watch Obama speak as anybody else. If, he's a, if he lives in America, if he's an American citizen, he has every right to come see a presidential speech as long as he's uh, polite and doesn't, doesn't uh, bother anybody. There's no reason why he can't attend. Uh, also, let me know if you would actually like to see me do an episode on Slender Man. I've done, I've waffled about it. Let me put it, let me do a poll. I'm going to do a poll right now. And we are going to see if I'll cover Slender Man or not. Because there's, yeah, there we go. Because there's, uh, Things about good old uh, Slender Man that, that, that even surpassed some cryptids as far as uh, becoming like a real phenomena. Slender Man has a body count from his acolytes. So, um, yeah, Slender Man is, is real business. I would love to uh, cover it, but I don't know. 
I'm thinking I would cover it on more on, uh, I don't know, do you think it'll be Creation Watch or Cryptic Corner? Because it's more of a belief than an actual entity. I don't know. I'll probably cover it on Cryptic Corner if I do cover it. All right. Right in front of them, and it's causing them to be filled full of terror. My next theory is that it could be aliens. We are seeing a lot of UFO and alien talk in the media lately. Maybe they do look similar enough to humans where they can fit in, but they do have a feature that humans do not have. Maybe. So, could with this guy they keep showing here, I don't know. Could he be a uh, a reptilian shapeshifter? Sure. I don't. The pixelation's really bad. Could he also be somebody with uh, with unique features well within the normal human range? Or well within the human range, but they're they're just a little off. Could he be a burn victim? You don't. Could, could that be a skin graft that you're looking at? You know, that's a different uh, different things that could it could be. Maybe their eyes do blink horizontal. Maybe there is something distorted about their features that they cannot hide for long flights. But still, the scariest theory. And if I were to put my money on it, it would be AI, artificial intelligence. The creators of AI have shown us the power of artificial intelligence. So, this woman's on the plane, like chillaxing, and the person next to her pulls up their phone and has chat GPT on there, and she flips out? I don't believe that for a second. Just the fraction of the power with things like chat GPT and other artificial intelligence programs. They're creating songs and deciphering ancient languages in seconds. They are showing us that humans are obsolete. Humans are not needed. Artificial intelligence is the future. Why are you needed when they can have a being that can do anything you can do, but a hundred times better? How, where are you deep. getting that they're do a hundred times better? Have you read their po their poems and songs? Have you read? Have you have you read? Have you? They'll even get. I asked. Uh, chat GPT what the two biggest carnivores in Australia were or uh, yeah or sorry what the two biggest uh, mammalian carnivores in Australia were you know what it told me it told me the dingo and the saltwater crocodile I have screenshots of that it said that the saltwater crocodile was the one, one of the biggest mammalian carnivores in North America it told me that uh I was asking it about, because I was, uh, I, I sometimes go down memory lane with chat GPT, but uh, I was uh, talking to it about Gumby, the TV show I watched as a kid, um, and it kept saying Prickle was green and Prickle was yellow. Prickle was always yellow. That's the, that's the dinosaur on Gumby. That's a show I watched when I was like three and four years old, like really long time ago, but I knew that Prickle was yellow. And chat GPT told me it was green, and I went and checked and it was yellow. So do not trust Anything that ChatGPT says without fact-checking it. It's fun to see how much you can get it to say wrong. It'll make up stuff if it doesn't have an answer. It'll just, it'll just make up its own, uh, its own uh, history, its own language, even. Like when you ask what a word means and, it, and you just make up the word, it'll just try to make up a meaning for it. You once had sex with a Slender Man. That's freaking amazing, uh, Ryan. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like Mark Reed says, very hot. You may have crushed him. I bet it was worth it. Uh, all right, let's let's uh, let's keep it going. It doesn't need a drink. It won't get sick. You are now replaced. And just like... Do you not know about uh, computer viruses? Uh, yeah, computers are just as vulnerable to, to illness as anything. They can get sick pretty quick. Including an AI, and AI is uh, susceptible to the same uh, types of uh, programming errors and everything that uh, that any other software. Is sure we can put stuff in place to prevent it. We can, we can build it an immune system, if you will. But you know, any other program, AI has to go through its testing phases. Yeah, oh, that's what, what I wanted to say there. Chat, Ryan, thank you so much for clarifying. If you know about the topic and you're just trying to formulate a draft about about the, the subject matter, 
ChatGPT is awesome, and it's awesome at making uh, timelines. If you ever need to make a timeline of events, I'm, I'm working on my uh, Mothman Frequency project, uh, the back burner. Um, let me know if you want to be a voice actor in that. DM me. I will let you be a voice actor in that. Uh, I have a lot of roles to uh, of stuff to read, so um, keep that open. This I, I plan to release it in November, but I don't know how much time I'm going to have to to work on it between all the other stuff I got going on right now. I hope to release it in November, but uh, Mothman Frequency is going to be a big project, and we're just going to have clips from uh, previous uh, Cryptic Corner shows too. I'm going to use parts from the uh, Injured Cold sightings, and if I do the Ohio uh, West Virginia UFO belt or whatever, I'll probably cover it there too. So yeah, Chat. If you know the topic and you know how and you and you know what's true and false about it, Chat GPT is excellent. You can actually tell it, hey, you got that wrong, fix it. And it will go back and say, oh, I'm sorry, I did get that wrong and fix it. So if you know the topic, definitely. They have to test these artificial humans in public to see how they react in certain situations. I'm going to say in about 10 years, we're going to see artificial humans in our everyday lives. They're going to be taking over jobs. They are going to slowly phase out humans. That's what makes artificial intelligence so... They can make our lives easier, too, though. you got to remember that. You know, it's going to be... You're talking hundreds of years before, you know, they, they would uh, surpass us in all all areas. Right now, they, they still depend on us as much as we depend on them, uh, as far as AI goes. They, they don't build their own infrastructure. They definitely don't build their own bionic women to board planes. Or for... Uh, other because some people are saying she's ai other people saying she or she's most people are saying the reptilian thing scary but. it's scarier than ghost or reptilian humanoids those things can be debated but artificial intelligence is here you can see it and are these people seeing these ai humans glitch out perhaps our eyes are going all crazy <laughs> they said that katie perry was an ai human they say that joe biden's an ai human uh but barack obama's a uh a reptilian so that's <laughs> their heads do like a 360 motion but whatever is happening these people are not seeing human beings sitting next to them these people have not been seen or heard of they have not given any interviews as to what they saw or what had happened the woman on the American Airlines plane was never detained or arrested for causing she a should have been panic real distress on that airplane where everybody had to get off. They even made the stewards and stewardess get off that plane. Nobody was allowed to board that plane. Then there was this man in a green hoodie who said he was on the same flight as the woman on the American Airlines and he saw everything that happened. Okay, just to clarify, there's a few things. We're gonna talk about this. We're actually gonna watch his video. Um, the guy on the, on the left is the Freemason guy who claimed it was him. The guy on the right is a video of a from somebody in a green hoodie from a year before that they someone tried to pass off um as from that from that flight as she was crazy talking about the illuminati and she all of a sudden went nuts because he said he was a satanist but this man with the green hoodie was on a completely different plane he was not on the same plane as the woman on the American. No, he wasn't even on a plane. He's come out and said he was just being a troll because people were being so, uh, so wild about all the different ideas. Airlines plane. So why are all these people trying to come out and discredit this woman? It's just all too weird. There's no logical explanation as to two different people being frightened on an airplane and only days apart. Now, I want to you know, know I don't, your opinion. I, I want to I, know what you have to say. I disagree. I bet there's, this happens pretty regularly. Uh, but the fact that people are just... The human response to whip out your phone and film anybody um, acting erratically is uh, as a human one. Uh, so, I mean, we want to document if something crazy is about to go down. But not always the best response when someone's in distress. But these people... Um, like the, the, they were in mid-flight, or or were they? See, there's not enough details about these videos. They talk about this guy trying to open the door. Were they on the ground? Because there's videos of them dragging him away too. And uh, this woman, she seems more like it seems more like the the flight hadn't even taken off yet. Say about this. Comment below. Are these people crazy? Are they making it up? 
Or are they seeing something that is not human? Thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, please subscribe if you're already sub All right, uh, and do that to my channel too, but we're gonna watch this real quick too. It's just, it's only three minutes. This guy also claimed to be on the plane. Urged in connection with the woman from the American Airlines flight who claimed that one person was not real. It is claimed that the woman was and they keep using that picture wearing a green hoodie and he was staring at her in a really weird way. Maybe that's why she freaked out. Listen to the testimony of this witness and don't forget to subscribe to our channel 24 7 TV. That motherfucker, that motherfucker back there is not real. Okay, here's not the real for you. I'm going to try. I tried like two times to record this, but I keep going over the three minute limit and I don't want to do a part one, part two type thing. So I'm going to try to be specific. I was on that flight. It was American Airlines. We are leaving Dallas, Fort Worth. I was sitting in the left aisle about three rows back from this woman. She was sitting in the right aisle and she had this very interesting exchange with some dude in a hoodie. I don't remember the color of the hoodie. I, I really, you know how memory is when you're not super paying attention, you don't remember all the details. I had one headphone in, couldn't hear all the specifics of what happened, but I noticed this exchange between this woman and this dude in a hoodie. And it was kind of weird at the time because it seemed like no one else before she really started getting frantic, like was paying attention to this, but that makes sense. It was like a normal flight. This was after putting all the luggage away. We'd been on the plane for a little bit. It was before the flight attendant came over and gave the little spiel. And what I remember is she ha was having like a full blown conversation with this dude in the hoodie. I'll call him the hoodie guy. She was having a full blown conversation with hoodie guy. The weird thing mm -hmm. was that he never once said a fucking word to her the whole time. And at the time, I. I don't know. I wasn't really thinking about it, but it was like she it's like she would say something and he like would respond, but there was no exchange happening. It was just her getting more and more frantic, which, OK, if she's drunk and she's going crazy, then you would think the dude in the hoodie would have been like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you talking about? But he was just like dead locked on her, like deep eye contact with her, like like Ooh. I don't want to feed into the conspiracies here, but like like almost like she was like in a hypnosis type of thing. And she was oh she started gotcha. getting more and more frantic to the point where then people started kind of noticing flight attendant came over tried to calm her down like what's going on she sat back down but she kept looking over at this dude in the hoodie and finally she was like done with it and that's like when i really started paying attention like okay what the fuck is going on and that's when she was like i'm ca i can't do this she started getting up she started walking up to the front and then the whole video thing happened. I didn't take a video of it. I was listening to a Stephen King audiobook. I wasn't like pulling out my phone to record this. And she didn't seem drunk to me, by the way. Just throwing that out there. She, I didn't, I didn't see her drink. I mean, she didn't. She seemed totally normal to me up until that point. The weird thing was after she left the plane, the dude in the hoodie, which the flight attendant was like, did anything happen? And he still didn't say a word. He just went like, and like shrugged. The dude in the hoodie like looked around the plane, and he looked back at me, and he winked at me. And again, I didn't quite register it. I was like, okay, what the fuck was that about? I was like, maybe he's just being like an ass, like winking, like that was weird, wasn't it? But now that I look back, I realized that when he winked at me and it was his left eye looking back at me, it didn't wink like this. It winked like this. His eye winked vertically. Yeah. And it didn't <clears throat> even register. How could you not register that? How could you not register that in your brain? But this guy also came out and said that he was trolling. That it was just a troll. All right, so I got my own super cut of all this put together here. So we're gonna watch and kind of try to decipher what we see from the video now. Just me and my hive, okay, guys? I hope you are all ready for this. Okay, she's moving up the aisle. I don't see anybody looking strange here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, she has, she, uh, she's having a, a crisis moment. I can get that, right? And everybody's recording her. That's, uh, I guess that's sort of uh, to be expected in 2023. Uh, if you have a crisis moment in public, people are going to record you. There, there's the, another angle. Hold on, 
Let's roll it back for a sec. Alright, here's a different angle. Hold on, what was that? Stupid dude on here, no. A stupid fucking dude. And they said, ma'am, no. There she goes. Woo. This is a, yeah, just same, same scene from a different angle here. So there's kids on here because she was cursing, I guess. People were laughing there. The there's another angle. Maybe that's believe it. somebody sitting right next to the person on the first one. Or this may be, the, this is the same one, sorry, yeah. I just zoomed in so that we could see when she spins around. Yeah, when it spins but around here. Oh, and, and there's nobody with, with a green hoodie that I could see. So here's a conversation that was from beforehand. And you can hear him talking over the... Not going to, not going to. I don't know what it is. You hear a you hear a uh, a man talking too. I said I don't know what it is. Let's listen again. She's not willing to something. There's a woman talking too. Stop the fucking plane. Stop the fucking plane. Stop the plane. Stop the plane. Stop the plane. She's yelling now. I don't know. What's her problem? Stop it, stop it. What's the problem? They're trying to get her to trade seats. I need to get the fuck off this plane. She's on top of the plane. I'm not sitting by that man. Can I get a volunteer to sit in the aisle See what happens. She's having it seems like almost like she's having a final destination moment. You know the first final destination where uh where he he's all like, oh, the plane, the plane, we gotta get off the plane, because he sees the explosion, right? And then the plane does explode. So is she? It, maybe she thought. Maybe she had fell asleep or something and thought she had final destination. I don't know. See what the fuck happened. Heard somebody say meltdown. I don't give a f about my shed. Verify, 
I think they're asking for the plane to be stopped now. Um, Tsunami got harassed by a Karen at the grocery store. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, just trying to pick out some sourdough. <laughs> She said, I'm a licensed attorney and this is my brother. So there's more to the story here than all these other people that are coming up with these conspiracies they're talking about. She's talking about being an attorney, someone who witnessed this. Someone's taking your belongings. Things aren't right. So someone said she was accusing a black man of stealing her earbuds at some point. I'm a licensed attorney, so be careful. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? She says, what are you going to do about it? Yeah, we're trying to figure out what's going on, Leo. She thinks the guy on the plane's like, terrorist or gonna an alien dang you guys really want to you guys really want to see some slender man don't ya hey ember good to see ya i didn't even see where leo said it, where leo came in We don't know what's going on yet. Hold on, she's about to say something else. I was hoping we'd get to see a little peek of the guy at some point, but he never does pop in. But yeah, people seem to, she's, it seems more like she was the problem more so than the guy though, because the way the people, the people around were acting about it, but I don't know for sure. I don't know what she saw or experienced or what she thinks happened. I would like to, uh. To, to explore that a little bit deeper and get a little bit more of the uh, outcomes of this. Uh, but it comes to, well, you'll see. <laughs> There's the flight attendant we heard talk, the male flight attendant we heard talk. That was my, uh, that was my little edit, edited touch to it. Um, so then the, uh, yeah, the, the, this guy comes forward. So the internet has heard the story of the woman on the plane with the reptilians. 
But thanks to her delaying the flight, I just... I think it was the the black lady that said she was a licensed attorney. The one that said her... That the, the person she... So the lady freaking out was freaking out about a man. And the black lady that said she's an attorney said the man was her brother. And that she better watch what she says about him. Or something like that. Or Scott what she accused Holmes him of. Now it's my opportunity to tell my side of the story as the guy in the hoodie. So we're attempting to fly out of Dallas-Fort Worth. And then basically this woman, she sits next to me and she's clearly been drinking. I'm minding my own business, and sure enough, she sees my hoodie that has this Freemason logo on it. And on top of that, she noticed my ring, so she started to ask questions. Nothing dramatic, just asked me, do I know what these symbols mean? Why am I wearing it? What's the purpose? Yada, yada, yada. And long story short, I basically just say, hey, I'm a Freemason. I even briefly explained how I educate about Freemasonry here on TikTok. Next thing I know, she basically starts to grill me about low-level Freemason, and that it's all Satanism, and that it's ruled by reptilians, and blah, blah, blah. So I simply put my hood up and I started to ignore her and basically just mind my own business. She starts getting louder and louder and then basically she's like, you know that they worship Lucifer at the top, right? So I, I looked at her dead in her eyes and I said, I am Lucifer. I heard one individual laugh behind me so I figured somebody got a kick out of it at least. She starts running up and down the aisles freaking out saying I'm a reptilian and then all this other stuff she's going to get off the plane, yada, yada, yada. It doesn't show all the footage, it just says that she's trying to get off the plane because of, you know, I'm not going to say it here on TikTok, I don't want to get banned. But then also talking about how, like, I'm secretly also trying to take over the world. So I looked back at the guy that was basically chuckling before, and I winked at him. So I basically whispered something under my breath saying that, eh, Freemasons don't care to rule the world, we rule the universe. And I looked back at the guy that was laughing before and just kind of winked at him because he started laughing again. Well, I didn't think that she could hear me, but evidently she did, and it actually escalated it even further, and then they delayed the flight, and so on and so forth. So, moral of the story, don't believe everything you hear on the internet. And Freemasons don't care to rule the world when we rule the universe. Uh, don't, it's funny, because it says don't believe everything you read on the internet, because the guy who reported being winked at said he was trolling. The, uh, he, he, was not, he wasn't even on a plane that day. And then, this guy... Okay, this might be the video that makes me go missing, so if I do, I did not do it of my own free will and accord. So a few days ago, I had a video go extremely viral where I said that I was the guy on the airplane with the hoodie with the woman calling me a reptilian. I also admitted in another video that this was a meme, I was just enjoying the internet. But with this video going extremely viral, it reached a lot of people and things get very interesting. Yesterday, this black van was parked outside of my house with no license plate. This was after I had a phone call with a friend that was discussing <laughs> the conspiracy theory of why they were using this story as a plant. And then I got a phone call and I said hello multiple times and nobody said anything. <laughs> so what I was discussing with my friend is I was planning this video that I think that the conspiracy is that the story of the airplane is a cover up to prevent people from going to watch Sound of Freedom. This is Mel Gibson's movie. Mel Gibson's movie. That movie. exposes child trafficking. This movie was completed years ago and it's just now coming out. They've been trying to cover this up for a very long time. There's already articles from the media, The Rolling Stones, who titles this Sound of Freedom is a superhero movie for dads with brain worms. Subtitled The QAnon Tinge Thriller about child trafficking is designed to appeal to the conscience of a conspiracy addled boomer. Imagine putting out negative press about a movie that raises awareness of child trafficking. And I'm thinking since my video went viral and I was discussing this over the phone that this is why this van decided to visit my house. And if you don't believe me, then watch this other video that talks about how they're preventing people from even going into the theaters by turning off the air conditioning. So, don't know if any one of you have already been to see The Sound of Freedom, but my friends and I <laughs> just walked out. Hi. And we are curious what your experiences were in the movie theater because we pre-ordered our tickets paid for them they were claimed got the link sent this is an amc theater in pineville north carolina some point today the tickets got refunded to my friend and we couldn't figure out why so we come anyway to the theater after dinner and they're like oh well we refunded all the tickets because there's no air conditioning in our theaters Okay, whatever. We don't care. Are you still showing it? Yeah, you can you can still watch it. I don't live very far from where this creator made this video. So people are taking the side of this woman thinking that there was some reptilian on a plane and everyone in the world is talking about it. While at the same time, everyone freedom is coming out and everyone is trying to see it and they're cutting the air conditioning. He didn't even get the, so he didn't even get the title right. He said voices of freedom. It's sound of freedom. <laughs> she is a plant and this story is also a plant. 
then why is she throwing up the reverse of the as above so below hand gestures, which resembles the hand gestures of Baphomet. So what I think we all need to do is go watch Sound of Freedom. Not because of some QAnon conspiracy, but simply for the fact to raise awareness about human trafficking and child trafficking. Because the world's trying to tell us not to. Okay, this might be the video that makes me... Alright, so... <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, the reptilian on a plane. I hope you guys, uh, had some, uh, some fun. I do like that this, uh, this guy decided to troll and, and pretend that, uh... It was uh, all connected to uh, <laughs> trying to stop people from seeing the sound of freedom. <laughs> Mel Gibson's movie. <laughs> all right. So if you had fun, if you enjoyed our little track down, uh, down uh, the, on the wild side of, uh, of public distress and, uh, cons and the conspiracy, how fast and bizarre conspiracies can form. There's not much to this. There was something about that man that she was sitting next to that she didn't like. She assumed that he was plotting to destroy the plane or some nonsense like that. And then she uh, she had a little bit of a public meltdown. And that does happen. Um, people do record it. So nothing nothing more to it that I can see. Um, nothing more at all. The, uh, the Satanist guy uh, trolled people. He actually trolled uh, the person we're covering in the next section. So... Uh, we are going to wrap up Cryptic Corner right now. Again, uh, please remember to uh, like, thumbs up, you know, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you don't hit the bell, it won't tell you when I'm live. So hit the bell too. I don't know why there's even two steps there. If you have ideas or if you were on this plane, do comment. Tell me, tell me what uh, your experience was. Uh, tell me what you saw. Tell me what you experienced. And uh, yeah. To everybody watching this uh, on Friday night with Cryptic Corner, please remember to be kind, take care, and we will see you next time. I am telling you right now, that mother that mother back there is not real. And you can sit on this plane and you can die with them or not. I'm not going to.